So I have been interested in thermal cameras for some time now, and I'm not an electrician, I'm not an HVAC repairman, but I do quite a few DIY projects around the home. Anything where the possibility of me blowing my house up or burning it down are slim, I will give it a shot. And also because of my interest in preparedness, I've thought about one of these for years for security reasons and camping outdoors and things like that. The finding out if there are two-legged creatures or four-legged creatures lurking around. I will go through in this video some of the different uses that I think this is going to be beneficial for. And honestly, the more I use this, the cooler this thing is. Before we get into that though, I wanted to mention what comes with this, what this actually is and everything that you can do with it. Now, Thermal Master did send me this, but I'm gonna do an honest review today and let you know the good and the bad parts about this. So first off, this is the P2 Pro, and there, the main differences between this one and the P2 is this one, if you have an iPhone like I have, you're going to need the Pro because it comes with this adapter right here for if you have a new iPhone, this is the USB type C, the lightning cable to USB type C. It comes with this manual right here, got a little thank you card and how to get a hold of support. But the camera itself is this small little camera right here and it's got a lightning port on it. So if you have a newer iPhone, you are going to need that connection right there, which takes that USB type C and allows you to plug it into your newer iPhone. If you've got an older iPhone, you can plug it right in uh, with this right here, just like that. Now the other version that they have, the P2, is just the Android only version. Another cool thing with this is it's got this extension cord right here, right on the end of it. You can actually move this around a little bit. So as you can see, you can move this around. We can bring it over here on the, the laptop and test the, you know, see the, the, the heat differences on the keyboard. So that's kind of cool to have right there is it look, gives you a little bit more flexibility. The other thing that's included in this P2 Pro version is the macro lens and this little cover right here. The macro lens is fantastic and I'll go through some uses here in a little bit, but it's, it's magnetic and it hooks right on to the top of that there. And with this macro lens, you get really tight, really, really close up shots of something. So you can see right here how close I am. And if you back off, you, it's gonna get blurry. But if you get closer, you can see it's really got some really good detail. So if you're doing electric work or uh, circuit boards and things like that, if you do that for a living, I could see how this could be really, really beneficial. But really cool macro lens. And like I said, it just pops on and off with the little, it's magnetic right there, which is pretty neat. And then, and then just put that protective cover back on. And another cool thing about this protective cover on there is you just throw that on there and then the whole thing is protected. So that's basically it. If you have an Android, you're gonna want the P2 version. Uh, and if you want the really close detail work uh, with this macro lens, you're gonna wanna go with the P2 Pro. Or if you have an iPhone, you're gonna need to go with the P2 Pro as well. Now, a few features that I want to talk about before we get into some of the ways I use this is on this the little camera right here, up on top, you have this X3 button, which what this, this button does is gives you a whole lot more detail when you're looking at something. You can see it a lot better with the macro lens. You can get a better idea about how this works. So if you get up really close here, so you get up really close on this cord. That is with the, XT, the X3 button off and you turn it on there and it gives you, it looks a little more grainy, but it's more detailed, more finer detail, which if you're looking at circuit boards and things like that, that is a, a great feature to have right there. 
Another thing that I like with this, and it's got the different modes, and I'll go over these in a minute, but it's got a, along with the color schemes, is you've also got this right here where you can pinpoint where you want the, what temperature is in a certain point in this picture. So if you've got this, and we'll switch this over to something where we can see a little better. So if you, you want to pinpoint exactly how much, let's take this macro lens off, what the temperature of that is compared to maybe the temperature of something over here. Uh, you could do that and it displays both of those temperatures right there. Uh, you could just delete that right there. You could do a the temperature of a certain square right there and it will give you temperature readings, average temperature readings around there. You've also got a circle that you could draw a circle. If you've got something that's round and you want to get the average temperature, you could do that. And also lines. So if you want to draw a line right there, maybe a line right there, and you can get those average temperatures. That's a lot of detail and a, probably a lot more than I will use it for, but it's cool that you can do that. And you can also recalibrate everything. If it doesn't seem like it's quite right, you just press that and recalibrate everything. So we will delete that. And another cool feature right here is that you can record, you can see my dog there, but you can record on this. And it's a really cool feature. You just hit the record button and it'll go for five, 10 minutes if you need it to. But if you're somewhere that you need the, the footage and you can't, you, you wanna make sure you remember, you can go somewhere else and get that recorded and then bring it back to your computer. For me making videos, it's nice because I can get you this footage straight from this phone right here and not have to worry about uh, you know, pulling it up to the camera like this and showing it to you that way. So the recording feature is pretty cool. It's also got picture in picture mode and picture in picture mode is kind of nice because you can see what you are, are looking at in the, when it's just this, it's really hard to tell what exactly something is. So that picture in picture mode is kind of nice to be able to see what's going on in real, real life vision, I suppose. Now the downside is this camera is over here and the other camera is over here. So you're, uh, you're, you're off a little bit. So if you're super close up to something, that's not gonna work. But if you're further away, if you're further away from something, you can see how that would work right there. Now with this cord, you could uh, move this camera right next to the other camera and get a good shot at that. But it's still, it's still pretty cool to have that picture in picture mode, depending on what you're using it for. And then you've got some other adjustments right here, which I haven't messed with too much because I want to get used to some of these other color schemes first and figure out what's exactly, what exactly works and, and what exactly doesn't. So uh, all pretty cool right here. And you've also got your, your settings right here. You've got your gallery. I don't have anything on here yet, but that's where all your recordings will be. You've got your settings so you can change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit and things like that and then customer service as well. And then you just click on the camera and it hooks right up. So just a really cool app and it's far more useful than I thought it, than I thought it was going to be. Uh, it's really accurate. The clarity is really nice with this as far as uh, the, the different temperatures and how well you can see the discrepancies and all that. So I, I really do like it. Let's change it off of there. And that's black hot and then that's white hot. So you can tell that uh, it's just really detailed and, and does a great job of, of letting you know the different temperatures. Now, as far as the testing and the usefulness of this, what I plan on using this for, I've got a Harvest Right freeze dryer, which is sometimes it can be pretty tough to tell when your food is done or not. And a thermal camera, while it's not the 100% accurate way to tell, it gives you a good idea about how close or how far away you are. So you can see I had raw chicken breasts in the Harvest Right freeze dryer. And after about 20 hours, you can see the black marks or the black parts of the camera are where the temperature is still cold and in a harvest right you want even temperature all the way across to make sure it's done so this doesn't tell me exactly if it's completely 100 percent done or not but it does give me an, an idea about how close i am 
Also, as far as, like I said in the beginning, I do a lot of DIY stuff around the house. And this is a great way to check your electrical outlets, your fuse box to make sure that you don't have a fuse that's failing or you know, you're know you gonna start your house on fire or anything like that. So just the electrical work around the house, any wiring you're doing. I do a lot of DIY battery bank things for preparedness. So I have my battery bank set up and if I want to check the wiring on that battery bank and make sure that nothing is getting too hot, make sure my solar connection coming in is actually maintaining temperature and it's not gonna to get too hot and melt and start something on fire. So it's really nice for situations like that. This is also something that's great for HVAC, uh, you know, heating and cooling. The repairmen use, probably use one of these, something like this quite a bit to find areas where there are leaks and drafts. I've got my window open right here. It's just a little crack and you can see that it's pretty clear where that draft is coming in and you can put the picture in picture on and see as well. But it's a great tool to show you around doors and windows and how much air is coming in or escaping. You can tell that by the temperature differences. Right now, the inside and outside temperatures are only probably 20 degrees different, so it's kind of hard to tell. But if you were in the middle of winter, this would be a great tool to have to figure out where your either your heat's going out or the cool is coming in. And as far as preparedness is concerned, and even camp, just camping and RVing, uh, this is great to have because at night, you've got a few different modes and what I found is the low light mode works the best at night, being able to see your surroundings. But even the, the black hot or the white hot will give you some really clear and really good definition about what is, you know, something that you can't really see, things around you that you can't really see at night. With this on, you can see those. So camping, this would be great if you had to go out in the middle of the night or after dark to go to the bathroom somewhere and you wanted to make sure there weren't little creatures around, uh, you could use something like this. Uh, I've got a video I took, and this was during the daytime, but about 50 yards away, we had some deer across the yard. And you, you can see that they're there, but you don't get a whole lot of definition. And then the dog chased them away, basically. You don't get a lot of definition, but you can definitely tell there's something out there. If you are close, uh, you know, I've got the horses and, and the horse is probably about 20, 25 yards away and they're pretty big. Uh, you can definitely tell it's a horse, right? So uh, it really depends on the animal. If you're out in the wilderness, you've got a bear running at you, you're probably going to know. If you are thinking about security around your home and being able to see at night when other people can't see, a two-legged creature that's coming up on you, you're probably going to be able to see and you're probably going to be able to tell that that's a person rather than a deer or you know a four-legged animal. So uh, it's just really night as far as the night vision capabilities, uh, being able to see at night, the thermal vision capabilities, nothing compared to what the military has. I think they have a combination of night vision, FLUR, and, and thermal vision and all of that stuff, but uh, it's just a a really cool tool to have to be able to see around you at night. And this is something that is small enough that it, you, you can put it in your bug out bag, uh, put it in a pocket. That's probably what I will do because it is pretty small and you wouldn't want to lose something like this. So if you have a, a dedicated pocket, you could put it in there. Um, what If I'm not going to put it in there, what I will do is keep it in this large case right here because this is, it's going to be a lot easier to keep track of this if I have it in this case right here than it is if it's, you know, uh, just that small little piece right there. Uh, it could get lost very easily. So if it's not in my bag, it's going to be in this box right here. That way it's just a little bit easier to keep track of. But just a, a very cool little product right here and it works really well. Another great thing is the battery power comes directly from your phone. So you don't have to worry about adding batteries to this or anything like that. It comes directly from your phone. So as long as your phone has got a charge, uh, you've got a charge. Now, as far as the different modes for uh, the, what I found just using this, the general use like the, the HVAC things I was talking about, insulation checks, the red iron pallet, that is, it, 
seems like the best, the one that I'm, I'm most used to, the one that we're almost used to usually, is that red iron palette where you can tell you it, you can tell hot is red and and blue is not. And then if you turn on this X3, it gives you even more detailed readings. So for HVAC stuff, this is pretty good. And then you've got electrical or electronic stuff. And this is where the white hot, uh, this is the black hot or the white hot would uh, be really beneficial because, and, and also the point button right here where it gives you the actual reading of some of the different areas on here. So uh, this would be really beneficial for electronics and things you want to be really intricate with. And again, the X3 can give you even more detail and the macro lens right here, if you wanna get really close and really detailed, that would work great. And then, like I said, the outdoor or the nighttime vision, you've got the dim light right here, which is great for security, spotting wildlife. When you're outside at nighttime, you can't see anything in front of your face. Uh, this is actually pretty good at giving you a clear picture of what's going on. So just a, lo a, lot of, a lot of cool things that you can do with this, a lot of different things that this could be useful for. This is a pretty nice little camera. I'm actually really surprised with the, the quality because these days, you know, you just never know these days what you're going to get. And this is a very nice little camera right here uh, and very well made and works absolutely fantastic. With a lot of these thermal binoculars and things like that, it's a lot of them are, are sort of gimmick and gimmicks and kids' toys. This is not. This is something that is very useful and something that I will be using quite a bit, uh, whether it's for preparedness or whether it's doing DIY projects around the house. At any rate, I, I will leave the link below where you can get this. Just remember that this is the P2 Pro, and if you have an iPhone, you're going to need the P2 Pro. And if you want the really the really close shots with this macro camera, you're going to want the P2 Pro. Otherwise, uh, with the Android version, you can get the basic version, which is just the P2. But uh, this one has got uh, you know all the bells and whistles. At any rate, I am done today. Do you guys have any questions or comments? Make sure and leave them below. Uh, until next time, take care and prepare everyone. We will talk to you all later.